hello hello i am back with another video and the purpose of this video is to talk about those women in the physical reality that are waiting 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 on whatever it is that you're waiting on but the title of this video is going to be waiting on jesus and waiting on the way Now, I'm not going to step on the toes of nobody that believes in their Jesus and their Boaz in the physical reality. But I will remind them of the biblical text that says, Faith without works is dead. So that means you really don't have nothing going on there while you're waiting. And speaking of waiting, I'm reminded when when Boaz found what he was looking for, she was busy working in the fields, minding her own business. And to me, when somebody says minding their own business, that sounds like a woman that's in tune to our higher self, that's in tune to her feminine energy. The God is within. And I'm also reminded in that biblical text that Jesus, you know, the, the Christ conscious one, the anointed one, there was a lady in there that put her expensive perfume on his feet. I don't think that lady was waiting at all. She was like, whoo, this man a healer right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. He a healer, he can heal me, he can save me. And he, he's speaking with his authority. Oh, I'm going to be the first one. I'm going after that thing right there. I'm going to go wash his feet. I bet you nobody out here washing his feet. <laughs> Everybody waiting on Jesus. But I'm about to go wash his feet. I'm about to do something nobody else did. This, I mean, maybe she was thinking that. You know, maybe. If y'all going to believe the story, the allegory text like that, I mean, just let's think logically about it. She was trying to be the one that was going to be on his team, you know. She wanted to be on the team, on Jesus' team. What I'm trying to share with you all religious people, and I come from a religious background, is that maybe, maybe you wait on God when God within is waiting on you. I remember they had a they had a, a choir song that we used to sing. Is my living in vain? Am I wasting my time? Can the clocks be rewind? Something like that. Yeah, I remember that song. Perfect song for this particular video. Is Pastor lying to you about just holding on to the it's just a logical question. Now, I'm not trying to step on your toes and would want you to hate me and blame it on the devil. But is Pastor telling you everything? Why is it that everything that you want in life you got to wait for, but you won't have to do nothing to attain it? It's a beautiful thing if your mental is there where you can instantly manifest things, and that's what we really are evolving to in this journey. But a lot of us not there yet. So that means a lot of us got to do the hands-on physical, you know, the action part, the works part, to go along with the faith part. If you pay attention in the physical reality, there are people that are not waiting and they are receiving. Why is that? Why would God do those kind of things? Does God not like you? Oh, God likes you. I thought we all were children of God. We are, but we all have different mindsets. And some people go after that which they are wanting. And they don't just sit there and wait. I'm going to share something with you that this lady, a white female, shared with me in my journey. She said, um... <laughs> what's with you and black people 
with that religious thing. Please explain that to me. Always waiting on God. Giving all your money to those churches. What's up with that? Now you do what you will with your money. I, I really could care less about that if that's if that was the thing that makes you feel good. But I am gonna ask you that question. What's up with you in that religion thing? Got your soul wanting a man so bad that you feel like you have to pay money to the church to get him. Oh, this video, y'all. Y'all not gonna like me. I know I could be in it already. But I'm just trying to help you, baby. Just trying to stimulate the thought. You could look just like me if you want to. But I'm not gonna put sugar on top of something that smells like S-H-I-T. So what's up with that? What's up with waiting? You Do you realize the longer you wait, the less youthful you are? The longer you wait, the more abundant there is of more women that are waiting along with you. The longer you wait, your little value is just going down. The longer you wait, 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 your little pretty is going away. Your little muscles is going away. Stuff's starting to sag. Oh, crap. Because you was waiting. You was waiting on Jesus. You was waiting on the West. He was just waiting. And some of us wait, and I'm guilty of this here, some of us wait for other reasons. Maybe being introverted, maybe already ex experiencing, you know, marriage already. Like, oh, yeah, I'll be back. Maybe waiting for your children to get older because you don't want mixing and matching with families and stepdaddies and stuff. That's understandable. Some of us wait, though, because we in a bubble and we don't realize that we're waiting. So we get occupied, you know, with work and stuff. Everything comes, well, I'm a, when I get my degree, then I'm going to focus on that. When I get this, then I'm going to focus on that. No, I, that's just going to wait. I'm going I'm to do this and then put in your whole life on hold. And then you don't want to turn around and ask Jesus. Why? But you never practice any action. You never adorned yourself. You never put yourself in a position, or better yet, on the frequency of that which you were wanting. You didn't do that part. You were just waiting. Just waiting. I encourage you. Go on and keep your religion, baby. Don't turn your back on your Jesus. Go ahead on and believe your boy your boy ass if that's what you want to do. I can't change that for your mental. But what I can do is stimulate the thought that you are wasting some time waiting. You're wasting time in this lifetime that you can be the doing. Because you're going to get everything that you want. It might not be this lifetime though. You're going to get, but you could actually put it into momentum for your next lifetime to be better. You know, we have all eternity to do this. So it'll ultimately never be a waste. But don't you want to get to that part sooner than later? Just to systemically thought. <laughs> because for some people, Jesus is not coming like they think. For some people, oh ass, it's not coming like they think, not in this lifetime. You know how they have these people on physical reality where it's like, okay, level up, you know, level up, oh, yeah, yeah, and throw the makeup on you, throw the makeup on you, they throw on the trust. So they can go and 
I guess be ready for Boaz. He's going to be ready for him. But even for the, those people, Boaz not paying attention to them. Because they're not going to be ready. They, they, they did some of the work, not all of the work. It's a lot of work, is what I'm saying. So why are you waiting? At least put apply some 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 action with that weight. Why are you waiting? Even if you're going to church, you're waiting. Get that mental together. Why are you waiting? Get that weight together in that diet. Get that weight in that diet together. Get that body together. Why are you waiting? Practice that feminine energy, that self-expression while you're waiting. And then that way your waiting won't be in vain. Then that way you could say, no, no, of course not. My waiting was not in vain. If you're not doing no work, oh yeah, it, it's in vain. If you're not applying pressure, oh yeah, 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 it's in vain. It's in vain. Because if you look at this here about church, and I was in it for years, church is where the hurt people go. Hurting people need a healing. Jesus is one of the little, the little slayings that they used to take, say in the church right up the street. Hurt people need a healing. Jesus. So he's a hurt people. And you know what hurt people do? Hurt people cry. Hurt people have low self-esteem. Her people are so vulnerable to get played. Sometimes they get played by pastor. I've witnessed it with my own eyes. The hurt people, they were so hurt. And some of them were so hurt that pastor takes advantage of them and say, let me, let me fix your hurt. Yeah. And some of them were so depressed. And they can't get out of that rut because it was hurt so much. It's hurt. But for those hurt people, if you start to feel good about yourself, guess what? You will evolve from the hurt frequency. The only way you're going to feel good about yourself is when you put forth some action. Some action. Beyond feeling good behind, feeling good about yourself. So if I'm depressed and I get up and I, I comb my hair, and I'm like, oh, I was sad this morning when I got out the bed, but now I, oh, look at me, I look a little cute. I might go out, you know, I might go sit outside or something, you know. I'm really feeling sad, but at least I look good now. I put in the action. And then I go sit outside and then, I feel a little bit better now that I got out of bed and now I have some sun. I have some sunlight like, hitting against my skin and it's electrifying my electric body. And so yeah, I'm starting to feel a little better. And then the phone rings and, and somebody say, well, let's go take a ride. Okay, I think I might just go. I think I might just go take a ride because I'm not doing anything and I'm already dressed and, and maybe this is Maybe this is Jesus, you know, Jesus trying to help me feel good. I'm going to just go on a strength of it being Jesus. And I'm going to go. And you go and you hang with your friends and you have fun and you laughing and y'all went to the mall or something like At the end of the, um, the outing with the friend, you say, oh, I'm so happy that you came to get me out the house. It feels so good. I started off the day being depressed. And now I'm not so sad anymore. I wonder what it was, what it was that helped me. Could it be that I put action? I put action in place to get me off of the depressed frequency, onto the frequency of not wanting to be depressed anymore. Had I sat in the bed, could it be that my faith of wanting to not be depressed anymore without works could it possibly be that my faith without works of me staying there 
The without works is me staying there in the bed with no sunlight, not putting any clothes on. Faith without works? Could it be that it would have been dead? Could it be that if I would have stayed in that bed, it would have been equivalent to me not getting to the frequency of feeling better? Simply because faith without works is dead? Oh, I see. I gotta do something. I can't just put my bills in 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 the in the Bible and just think, oh Jesus, just gonna fix it. Do, could it be that I have to go to work? Could it be that I'm not gonna lose this weight if I don't stop putting everything in my mouth? Could it be that I have to Sweat. Oh. Could it be that Boaz might not even pay attention to me because I didn't do the work. I didn't put forth no action with my faith. Okay, I think that's enough for you all. I think you got the point because words don't teach. Only life experience is going to teach you. You hate me? You hate me? Hmm. No, you don't hate me. You still love me, honey. You still love me. It's going to hurt a little bit, but you still love me. You're going to come back. You're going to come back simply because I'm not telling you what you want to hear. Because I'm not here for likes. I'm not here for views. I'm here to help you become a greater version of yourself. I'm not going to be like Pastor and tell you what you want here. I'm not going to be like Steve Harvey and, and tell you you got to have all of these rules. But you don't have to, you don't have to express your divine feminine. You got to have all of these rules, but you don't have to fit the mold or put them in the morning. You got to have all of these rules. <laughs> what you're sitting on is just doing your, 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 your greatest gift. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you to be no daggone strong and tough. Miss Independent. No, I ain't telling you that. No. Sorry. I'm not going to tell you what's wrong. Because those things are going down the wrong path for the divine feminine. I'm not going to tell you that. So you go ahead on, but just remember, while you're waiting on Jesus, you're waiting on Boaz, you might want to do something. That's it. Just do something. Do some jumping jacks. Do some squats. Use up with that attitude. I don't care what you do. Just do something. From my heart to yours, babe. Be blessed.